Hi, this is Thomas Johnston, Director of Tennis at Seacon. I hope you guys have been enjoying all our social media posts. Some of the highlights include Alex's doubles tips on Thursday, fireside chat with Josh on Fridays, and of course, Facebook Live with me, yours truly, on Saturdays at 11. See you soon. Hey everybody, Alex Justiniani, Assistant Director of Sea Colony Tennis. Uh, I hope by now everybody's seen our cool shirts we're wearing, and I hope you've gotten yours already. The link will close on May 1st, so contact me or any of our staff members if you're interested in getting one. Um, today's topic is kick serves. I still remember the first time I got a, hit, a kick serve to me, and uh, it's troubling when you're getting a great kick serve, so it's a great topic to talk about. Um, so I'm gonna talk about three things that can improve your kick serve and three simple things so I hope you guys can all enjoy at home and uh, let's get to it. So the very first thing we're going to talk about is the grip. Uh, the grip is really going to help you maximize the amount of spin you can put on the ball. Um, if you're still learning to hit a serve with a continental grip this is going to be a little more challenging for you because I'm actually going to ask you guys to go a little further over uh, than your continental grip, more like an eastern backhand grip. The further over you go, the more kick on your serve you will have. And it'll make sense with the ball toss we're gonna talk about number two. So the second thing you wanna look at once your grip has been kind of changed and fixed a little bit, is you wanna take a look at your ball toss. Uh, usually on a first serve or a slice serve, we're asking people to toss out in front of them a lot more. Um, for a kick serve, you actually want to toss a little bit behind you and to your left if you're righty. So with the new grip and the ball toss, that'll allow you to hit the ball up from behind you. It'll maximize the kick on your serve. So you do want to toss behind you and to your left. All right, the third and final step after you get your grip and your ball toss right is learning to swing up on the ball. That's one of the hardest things for people learning your kick serve. So make sure that when you hit the ball, you're not trying to go down, you're actually trying to go up, okay? Brushing up as much as you can. Um, that's going to be one of the hardest things to learn when you're trying to learn a kick serve because it's not natural to go up trying to hit the ball down. All right, so in conclusion, I hope you guys got three things out of that. So you have to have the correct grip, you have to have the correct ball toss, and you have to have the correct path of the swing in order to maximize your kick serve. Um, I hope everybody will be back on the court soon, and we can't wait to see you.